I'm Schmitty, and this is a little something I like to call whiplash. Hey, good looking room. The people in it could use a little work, but the room is gorgeous. Here's round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Almost out of time. Use the safety quip button if you have to. Okay, here we go. First one. A name for a lingerie store targeted to very conservative women. Okay, vote for your favorite. <laughs> and next is the name of a snobby hair salon for cats. Put in your votes. Next, Alvin and the Chipmunks 12 blank. And vote. Next prompt. What Channing Tatum calls his butt, probably. Get to voting! That's it for round one. Let's bring up the scoreboard. <laughs> round
down two time and look sharp because I'm doubling all the point values. Lots running out. Think fast or use a safety clip. All right, let's have a look. Starting us off, what a mopey mule would say. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next in line, everybody poops too. Blank. Ready, set, vote. And next, what Abe Lincoln probably called having sex. Vote away. Next, a secret Six Flags ride that only billionaires can go on. It's voting time. We've reached the end of round two. Let's see what happened. <laughs> and now round three, the last lash. This time you'll all be answering the same prompt. Come up with the full name for this acronym.
Okay, here we go. Okay, in round three, you get to award both a gold and a silver medal to your top two quips. Have at it. All right, let's see where those medals went. The silver. And the gold. Let's sell off those medals for points. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard.
Welcome to Quiplash. I'm your host, Schmitty, and I've been told that I'm no longer allowed to accept tips. I think we've got just enough people to do the wave, but let's not. This is round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Hit the safety quit button if you can't think of something. Let's see those quips. Prompt number one is... Warning, the government allows school lunches to contain up to 4% blank. Okay, select your favorite quip. Okay, next one. A great pickup line to use on the person cleaning up the spill you caused in the grocery store. Okay, vote. Coming up next, the title of an album recorded by a singing goat. Vote on your devices. Moving on, the best part of being an 1800s fur trapper. Vote now. Next in the hopper, Control Shift Alt 6 is the little known keyboard shortcut to do this. Time to vote. Next one, 
the worst children's game, Hungry Hungry Blank. Vote on your devices. Moving on, a dramatic line that Gilbert Godfrey definitely couldn't pull off. And vote. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Yeah. On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say. Running out. Use a safety quip if you need it. <laughs> Time for the big reveal. Up first, a good way to get kicked out of a jazz band. Okay, pick your favorite quip now. Next on the list, what the inflatable arm flailing tube man did before working at car dealerships. Get to voting! Next on deck, what it means when the flag is at three quarters staff. It's voting time!
Next up, a sign your marriage may be falling apart. Vote away. Okay, next one. A poor follow-up to the X-rated classic Debbie Does Dallas would be Debbie Blank. Okay, vote. Moving on, Harry Potter can do a really weird and obscure spell that allows him to blank. Ready, set, vote! Up next, a good sign everyone in your dance class hates you. Vote now. Round two is now complete. Let's see where we landed. Hey! It's round three, the last lash. I've got one prompt left and you're all getting it. Come up with an answer for this word lash task. Moment of truth. Choose who gets a medal now.
twice. Let's see who snagged the medals. Bronze. Here's the silver. And finally, gold. Okay, let's change those medals into points. We're done. Let's see the final scores. Welcome to Trivia Nights. There are all kinds of complicated rules about how this game works, but apparently you don't care about any of that. Well, okay then. Alright, first question. It was on this night, ten years ago, in this same dungeon, that I asked the worst trivia question I've ever seen, and it went something like this. In the movie Pee-wee's Big Adventure, Pee-wee hitches a ride from the ghost of a dead trucker named... Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you. Let's play a game. Well, I hope you know how to spell. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. Begin.
You're almost out of time. Ooh, let's see what you did there. Is that how you spell that? Mm, no. And ties are verboten. I just read the fountainhead, so I only reward winners. Here's how everybody's doing so far. It's real early though, so don't freak out. Here's another one. Which of these candies is not vegan? Turning out. Who said this one? The rest of you who are still alive, let's go someplace fun. Welcome back to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. What's the number one key to success? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the answer that you hate the most. Pick the answer that makes you go, uh, no sir, no. I will have none of that. <laughs> the votes are in. The votes are in, and nobody likes you. Here's how the standings are, uh, standing. All right, next question. What pasta looks like butterflies? said this I have a surprise for you we're going to play chalices pick a chalice to put your poison in And it's your turn now. Pick a chalice to drink from. Um, confession, I haven't watched- <laughs> Good to the last drop, if you know what I mean. Now let's see what everyone drank. This was inevitable. <laughs> It'll probably be a while before you get that taste of poison out of your mouth. I've got more questions for you. I love spring break! Woo! Cancun! We're in Mexico, is it? And 
correct answer is... This one. I want to show you something. Oh darn, this is such a mess. There's blood all over this art. This keeps happening to all my art. Memorize the pattern of blood. All right, that's enough time. Whoa, I just suddenly had the strongest sense of deja vu. Weird, right? All tingly. I mean, I've run this game before a bunch of times, but it was different than that. Then again, it could also be this ice pick that's been lodged in my skull for the last year. Sometimes it weirds my brain out. Mm. Should probably do something about that. Anyway, reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. The person who is furthest from the pattern will die. Stop second guessing your passion. Here's that art again, and here's what you did. Look at it this way. At least you have proof now that you're the weakling. <laughs> Only one player left alive. Just how I like it. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. Here's your first category. Fry dough foods. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. A space for every right answer. Diet Coke ingredients. Anytime today, kiddo. Beware of the darkness. Subatomic particles. I'm impressed. Here's another one. The Jungle Book Animals. Steps. Countries that have green in their flag. That was kind of a gimme. 
me. Here comes the next question. People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive in the 90s. 